Hey everyone, what's up? This is Shukesh and thanks a lot guys for liking the first episode of the awesome Tips and Tricks video series on this all new Oppo F7. It's by far one of the best smartphones in this category and along with the brilliant cameras and amazing display, the software features of this Colorways 5.0 are unique, innovative and mind-blowing. So in this episode, I will show you a lot more tricks on this smartphone, so stay tuned. Now I hope that you already noticed this small guy at the bottom right corner of the display. It's one of my favorites. It's for the select to speak feature on your Oppo F7. If you click it, anything you tap on the display will be read out to you. Play Store. Just like that. It's quite fun and Folder, very useful as well. For instance, you can make the phone read out your news headlines. Yeah, There is a collapsible controller as well to pause or stop the readout. So whether you have a big content on the website, a long email or an ebook, you can tap to select a word or paragraph or you can just drag and select the text you want the phone to read out to you. On the controller you have options to skip to the next text or add or remove text. So how to activate this feature on your Oppo F7? Well, open your settings menu and scroll down for the option additional settings. Here you will get this accessibility and select to speak. So turn this on and you will get the little guy at the bottom right corner of your screen. Now let me show you a shorthand trick to activate different features including this select to speak. Just tap and hold the volume up and down key simultaneously for 3 seconds. I have set switch access as the shortcut. I hope you already know what switch access is. You can control your display like you can swipe to the next page, you can open the home page, go back or open the app switcher with different gestures of your eyes, mouth, your head movement etc. It's a common android feature, I hope you already know how to set this up. Let me show you how to set up this accessibility shortcut. Go to your settings menu and additional settings, accessibility and at the top you have this option accessibility quick operation. Turn this on, set the shortcut service as you wish among these three. You have select to speak as well. So this is an alternate way to start select to speak service. Switch access is available under accessibility settings and you can add or assign different functions to different switches or gestures. Next I want to show you the most useful feature on this Oppo F7, it's the screen of gestures. First of all you can just double tap anywhere on the screen to turn on the display which is very very helpful for checking your lock screen notifications or your news. You can also apply different gestures or draw different alphabets on the screen when the screen is off for different functions or actions. Now for some reason you cannot turn off the flashlight with the same gesture as you can do on OnePlus devices. But interestingly you can turn off the torch just with a single tap on the power key. To play music on your phone when the screen is off and the phone is locked, just swipe down with two fingers on the screen. It's as simple as that and you can also draw angle brackets like greater than for the next song and less than for the previous song. The song can be paused with the same gesture as well. Now what's most interesting is you can also assign gestures to different applications on your phone including third party apps. The phone can be unlocked with the correct sign and it works better when the phone is not password protected. So suppose you want to launch Facebook on your phone, no need to unlock the phone, search for the application and launch. You can do this right away from the lock screen. What you need to do is to assign a gesture for Facebook or any other application. I have set Adobe Photoshop Lightroom for the gesture W. So open your smart and convenient settings. There you have this gesture and motion option. Screen of gesture at the top. The torch, camera and music gestures are fixed but you have other gestures available which you can assign to different tasks or applications. 
so you can slide left to make a call or start an app. Oppo F7 is a dual SIM device so you might need two WhatsApp, Facebook or Messenger profiles. As you can see I have two WhatsApp apps. One is original and other one is the clone. These apps are also encrypted with a password which I will show you in a minute. So to clone the apps go to your settings menu and look for the option clone apps. There you will find the supported applications, mostly your social networking apps. Then just enable it and you can also rename the clone apps. There you have the Facebook clone. So this is how you can maintain two messaging or two social networking apps. Now you have got a 6.23 inches display on your Oppo F7 which is huge and you can make the best use of this display just by splitting the screen into two and multitask. What you have to do is swipe up with three fingers touching on the screen. There you go now, click any of these applications to open in split screen view. Not all the apps in the apps drawer are supported by this feature but you get only the compatible applications here. Now there are two different other ways to launch split screen, open any compatible application and tap and hold the recent key, just like that. Now I'm going to show you a very interesting hidden trick. In split screen view just tap on the home button and you get the notification bar in green color. That means the split screen applications are minimized or hidden and once you click on the recent key you get back the split screen applications. Now if you tap and hold on the recent key for a while, the hidden or minimized split screen apps will close. Well let me now show you a magic, as you know you cannot play YouTube videos without the video playing on the screen that is, you cannot hide the video player or YouTube player unlike a music player so what you need to do is split the screen into two and tap the home button. Now only the music from the YouTube video is coming out from the speaker without the video showing on the screen. But remember don't turn off the display by using the power key. This will pause the video and also the music. So how does this work? Well when you collapse or hide the split screen apps they are still running in the background. So this is how you can enjoy music videos in public places with your headphones without people staring at your screen. If you open any other application that will open in split screen with the YouTube application at the top. So this is how you can utilize this awesome feature on your Oppo F7. Now there is another way to launch an app in split screen. Just open your recent applications and once you swipe down the compatible applications you get this option split screen. So click here and open this app in split screen. Now few minutes ago I discussed about encryption of sensitive apps like WhatsApp. You can either use your passcode or you can also use your fingerprint sensor and your face unlock feature on Oppo F7. So indeed a very useful and must know feature if you have this phone. You can encrypt any application you have on the phone and also remove the device password. So go to your security settings and app lock. This app lock password is actually different from your device password. So if someone knows your phone's password, he or she cannot access your secured applications. Just enable this option for any application you want to secure with a password. Now just below app lock there is another very useful feature called kid space which is to restrict the device with limited apps and data usage options. You can set a timer and after that the phone will be locked. You can allow the applications you want, cellular data can be turned off and your kids cannot modify the system settings or install as well as uninstall your apps. So if your kids are messing up your phone this feature might be very useful. There is also private save for your sensitive media like your photos, videos, your audio files and also any type of document and as I mentioned before you can use your face or fingerprint sensor to unlock this private save. An app icon is also added to your apps drawer so there it is. Currently face unlock is activated and as you can see it's extremely fast and efficient. 
to add contents you have this option import photos so you can import photos and videos from your gallery alternatively you can open any of your media and here you have the option so if you have any sensitive photo you don't want people to find out you can move that to private safe once again private safe password is different from your device password to undo this process that is to move this image to your public gallery you can click here set as public now on the home screen you get an extra home panel to the left it's called smart assistant and you have quick functions your weather information steps tracker and also your events for the day and your favorite or frequent contacts now if you wish to remove this smart assistant home panel from your home screens you can go to your settings and smart and convenient option disable this now under the settings menu you will find an option called game acceleration which can help you optimize the game display configuration to fully utilize the hardware resources and you can also disable banner notifications which are interrupting your gameplay background apps network access will be restricted as well and incoming video calls will be prompted using banners so that your gaming is not interrupted which at is currently supported let me show you a few more handy tricks you might find useful if you tap and hold on app icons you get some shortcuts to different functions so you can launch sticker selfie camera right away to add contacts just tap and hold on the dialer here at the notification center there are some toggle switches you might want to check for example there is an inbuilt screen recorder on your oppo f7 sharing content with other oppo devices is made easy with this oppo share in addition to that there is a boost option which can clean your unnecessary useless data on your phone so clean your oppo f7 now and then at least once in a week in addition to all of this there is also quiet mode that is you can schedule the phone to go silent mode without any vibration when you usually go to sleep and you can allow certain exceptions if you get repeated calls within three minutes in case of any emergency the phone will ring there is a power saving mode you might want to check when the battery level is low with oppo f7 you get 5 gig of free cloud storage so log in with a password and securely store your photos videos to the cloud you can restore the media and also your contacts your text messages call history even browser bookmarks to another oppo device with the same id and password guys this is the last trick i have for you on this smartphone there is something called lock screen magazine that is every time you turn on the screen you get a different wallpaper from online and the wallpapers are refreshing beautiful and it will change your mood every time you turn on the screen you can also swipe to change the wallpapers manually and why is this called a magazine well at the bottom of the screen you get a short note about the image so if you are interested in the subject you can quickly check out the description if you wish you can also pin any wallpaper to the lock screen now the wallpaper will not change automatically to customize and set your preference you can go to your home screen and lock screen magazine settings there you have the options you can add your own images and also subscribe to different channels as per your test guys this is the end of this video i hope that you liked my effort i tried my best to give you a demo of all the features as simply as possible i personally liked this phone a lot for the hardware and also for the software if you missed episode 1 make sure you check that out don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch this is shukesh signing off have a nice day guys